am doing a slightly different video for you today, just for the heck of it. Um, so I have been doing some shopping on online auctions. I've been doing this for a while, um, off and on. Uh, I've discussed it in, in haul videos because I have shown items from the from auctions that I've won. Um, I mainly started it because I was traveling for work and I couldn't source and I was, you know, oh, I need to source. Um, so I started looking online auctions and mostly thinking I'm just gonna, you know, look up, look up and see if there's any good brands. I, I was using it to learn new brands because I had the time to, you know, browse and then if I saw something interesting, then I had the time to do a pretty thorough um, research on it, on, you know, listings and sold sold comps. Um, and then every once in a while I would find something and, and buy it. So I'm definitely paying up for everything. Um, I pay for shipping. In some cases I also pay handling. Um, in some cases it's super high shipping. Um, so I'm not going to say that everything I've bought has been a score. I do have items that are sitting in my closet that I've purchased that I have that I haven't sold yet. Uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to. Obviously, everything I pick up from online auction, I'm I'm pricing on the high end because it costs me on the high end. Uh, so those things do often sit. I'm gonna just share five items that you've seen before if you watch my haul videos because they've all been seen in hauls. Um, so just as a follow-up, five items that I purchased and have sold. And then I'm going to share, I'm gonna do a haul of some of the new things that have come in. Um, but first let's get into the five things. I've got my cute computer here, so I'm looking it up as I go so I can talk about it. Uh, the first item is this, in no particular order, is this Carhartt jumpsuit. Um, Initially, when I found it, they didn't list it as a Carhartt. It said UFCW Union Made Jumpsuit. Um, and I think that's why I got it at opening bid because they didn't put in that it was a Carhartt. Um, and I'm interested in anything Carhartt. And, you know, Union Made, I assume it was vintage. I was able to save a little bit on this one because it's heavy. It would have cost a lot to ship. Um, because I was able to actually do local pickup on this, which, which you know, helped. And, and this one sold for 60. I really hoped that it would go for higher. So everything that I bought, um, all five of these items range in price from I think like 16.40 to I think the highest was 19 dollars, all in. Um, so this one, this one was I think 17.73. That's because of how much they were asking for it and the handling fee. Ugh, I hate handling fees. It's such crap. But anyway, it's there, what are you gonna do? I've complained. Do they care? Of course not. Um, so anyway, I still, you know, I made money on it. I'm not upset. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Not for that amount of money because, well, I mean, I guess, so 60 after fees is 48. Um, no, I wouldn't buy it again. Uh, not at that price. If I could get it for closer to $10, then yeah, I probably would. Uh, next, uh, we'll do, uh, these, this Doc Martens. Okay, let me, let me find the Doc Martens. So I didn't make a ton on these Doc Martens, but it was a little bit like, maybe these will work for me and I wanted some Doc Martens, so I, I purchased it thinking, well, if, if I want to keep them, great. If um, they don't work, I can sell them and I'll make a little bit of money. So they actually were a little small. They were size eight. They sold for $56. So after fees, I made $44.80. Uh, the profit was a little over $20. Oh, no, wait, wrong one. Uh, the profit was decent. Again, would I buy these again to resell? No, not unless I could get them for closer to $10. But I made decent money on them. Not upset. Okay, 
Next, we'll do these foot joys. Foot joy. Oops. So I'd always heard foot joy is, you know, a good brand of golf shoes. And these appeared to be, okay, my internet really sucks here. Uh, these appear to be in good shape. These foot Foot Joy are the Premier Series golf shoes. They looked to be in incredible condition. So I decided to give them a try and they did sell for $65, which means I made after fees um, $49.98. So again, a decent profit. Um, I made over 30 on these. So yeah, I would buy these again. Um, Still, I would like them to be closer to 10 or less, but in this condition, these were women's, by the way. So that's not bad. I was happy with that, and I would buy these again if I found them in this condition on the uh, online auctions. Next is this Patricia Field. Okay, so the final two that I'm sharing are both bags. This is a Patricia Field bag. Patricia Field, the name Rangabel, Rangabel, um, and I realized that she was the costume designer for uh, Sex and the City. And this bag had a moment because it appeared in the movie The Devil Wears Prada. I think that's what it is. And it sold for 75, which means I got 60. Um, so a very decent, a very decent profit. Um, yeah, I probably would buy this exact bag again for the same price. So of course I'd rather get it for less. And then finally this, okay, this is a, an exact example of why I started looking on uh, online auctions and why I continue to. The brand is Marta Ponti. Hang on. And I'd never heard of it. Uh, but I thought it was interesting. It was made in, uh, I believe it's made in Italy. So I decided to research and the cons looked pretty decent. So I bought it and it sold full price. It took, let's see, I got it, I think in March and it just sold in October, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So seven months, I don't mind. A handbag doesn't take up a lot of space. I'm okay sitting on things and it's all full price for 80. I'm sorry, a hundred. So I got 80 after, um, after fees. So I made about $60 on that bag and I learned a new brand. If I'm at a thrift store and I see something that's Marta Ponte, I will know to stop and, you know, either research it or buy it. So, um, and that is the point of this is, is partially is learning new brands. Okay, uh, and now hang on one second and then we will be back with a small haul of things that I have recently purchased online auctions. All right, time for the haul portion of this video. Um, I have two more packages expected uh, by tomorrow, so I'll add that and then I'll be ready to release it. I have another item I've purchased, um, but I haven't paid for it yet because I'm waiting on another item that's from the same play, same place. Um, and if I win that one, I want to combine shipping. So I will just end it after what I get tomorrow and anything new will be on a new video. I really, I'm spending a lot of money on these online auctions. So I really need to start making my money back. Okay, the first item I got, I actually got this a few weeks ago and it, they are listed, are these men's boots. I'm not familiar with this brand. I was not, it's called let me see if it's where you can see it. Oro. I think it's Oro Los Angeles. And there it is. These are, um, I'd never heard of them. I found at the time I bought them, I only found one active listing and they were asking $450 for them. And, uh, but here's the lesson. So Oro makes a different style that's almost exact. You can't tell the difference. So when I was doing a Google Lens, I found the other pair, thought it was the same, and I copied the description. Um, I will do that, but I, I tweak it. Um, and when I was tweaking it, I noticed that they're not quite the same. Uh, that one said it had a concealed zipper and this has an exposed zipper, but otherwise, so 
I couldn't find this one. Don't know if this is an older model of the same design or if this one had a different name. So I didn't even use the title that was the same. But the person who has it for $450 did the same mistake. And hers says the concealed zipper and she has uh, this one. So I was tempted to message her, but then I was just like, eh, not my problem. Anyway, I listed them at 300. I feel like that is shooting for the stars. The sold comps, I, I think, uh, were, were pretty high too. I can't remember because I bought these a few weeks ago, but I figure it's easier to start high and then start lowering it than go the other way. So that's what I did. This next one, I, I bought this a few weeks ago too, so I don't really remember. I, these are Vionix. So I would not normally buy Vionix on auction because I'm paying up and I don't pay up for Vionix. They're not a slam dunk for me. Um, they're mostly a consistent seller, but then I have had some that are just sitting. I have two pairs that are sitting. One's a pair of sneakers and one is a pair of sandals. Um, but the comps look promising, I believe, at the time I purchased it, or I wouldn't have bought them. And uh, even now I look at the comps and they're... They're really scattered. I mean, they're as low as 25, but then as high as, I think, 100. And these, while I will not say they're new, they're the Adelina, size eight and a half, good size. I won't say they're new, but I, I will say that there is no visible wear and that they come in the original box. This is not a shoe I expect to be Vionics. Oops. They are pumps with this, like, really sort of, fashion forward heel of, uh, they call it a flared heel. Look at that. If these were worn, they were worn an event with carpeting and never worn outside of that. Like they didn't even wear them to the car. Maybe the event was in their house. I don't know. Mm. But they look, they look brand new. The leather feels great. The cushioning is amazing. So if you're going to wear something like this for an event, it makes sense to get Bionic because at least you know you're getting as much comfort as you can while still wearing a four inch flared heel, right? Okay. The rest are in these boxes and I haven't opened, I just, all I did was cut the tape. I didn't, uh, I didn't open them. So one has one item and I know what that is and one has three items and I don't know what those are. I don't remember. I feel like two of them are shoes, and then maybe one's a bag. I don't remember them. Okay, this, I love my cowboy stuff. It's an NFR jacket. Now, normally I'll find this kind of thing, not all the time, but periodically at the bins, because I'm in Vegas. The NFR is in Vegas. Um, so I don't have to pay up for it. But I looked at the comps, this is vintage. Oh, and I already see it's got some, mm, it's got some, some moth, not holes, but thinning. All right, well, let's see. Overall, it's vintage. So I think that that's acceptable. Oh my God, this is terrible. Ooh, I'm going to have to mention this. I may have to write them about this. I'm very disappointed. It's got a lot of them. NFR. It's a beautiful jacket and I love it. And I'm going to have to write them and see if they're willing. They have taken something back from me that had holes that were not mentioned. Um, otherwise, I will just list it this way. And I still think I'll make some money, but I won't make as much as I thought I would. Oh, that's such a shame. Huh. That is unusual. All right. Well, we'll figure that out. Okay, okay, here's the bag. I was not familiar with this brand, Montana Hudson. But the, the comps look pretty good. And it's this really nice tote bag, leather. It's got a little like, not cracking exactly. It's got some creasing here. But it's that kind of leather ja jacket, leather that's gonna last forever. Oh. I wouldn't mind having this for myself. Oh, it's a little bit padded here. You could probably keep your laptop in it. Nice. Can't remember the comps, it's been a while. A pair of men's sh 
shoes. Uh, the brand is Nisolo. Nisolo. Very clean. They're Hirachis. And these also, mm, that smells like good leather. These also uh, had really good comps in excellent condition. That's that's more like what I expect. Somebody's gonna be hearing from me, that's for sure. Uh, and these, another brand that I am unfamiliar with. So these are almost all like new to me brands, which is what I kind of go on there for, to learn new brands. And after I'm done with the haul, I'm gonna share some brands that I discovered that I didn't end up buying because they went up too high. The ones that got away, but the brands I want to remember. Okay, so these are Emanuela Pacera. They're size 40, which I think is like a nine, nine and a half maybe. It's got a zipper here. Oh, beautiful leather. Nice kind of stacked, no, just chunk heel. The color I would say is charcoal. I did not know this brand. I looked it up, it looked promising. So I got them, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll be back with a couple more items. Say hi to Charlie before we finish this off. He's kind enough to, do you mind if we share the chair? Could we share the chair? Go away. Okay, okay, oh, oh, and there he goes. Okay, I should readjust. Oh, that's gonna have to do. Okay. Um, I'm doing this by the ring light, so the lighting's terrible, but what can you do? So update on the NFR jacket. Update on the NFR jacket. It's already on its way back. I'm bummed because if it was, you know, not so moth spotty, um, I would have probably listed it at like 150, 200. Um, I ask you this. What good does moths do? Like I know every creature has its good side and its bad side, but what is the good side of moths? What do they do besides eat our fine wools and cashmere? Anything, anything? Do you know? Do I have to Google this? Anyway, uh, so I do have two more items and I'm actually disappointed in both of them. Uh, not disappointed with um, the auction company, just, well, we'll get into it and then we'll, you'll see. Okay, so first off, I have never sourced Michael Kors. If I saw it, I just walked right by. But I feel like, and I don't, I don't know. I feel like some reseller mentioned that Michael Kors bags does well, do well, do well. Um, and I don't know. I've never tried it, so I, I decided that I wanted to try it, see if that was something good. Um, I had bid on a black pebbled leather backpack that had really good comps, but. Um, the bidding got too high, so I ended up buying this bag. And here's the issue. Okay, so I like the bag. I think it looks good. It's in decent condition. It's got sort of a tote bag shape to it, but it's not that big. Feels good. This is what I don't understand, and maybe that's because I don't know anything about Michael Kors. So it says Michael Kors here, and it says Michael Kors on all of these, and they listed it as Michael Kors. But inside it says... Michael Michael Coors. So I never would have bought it. Um, but I I really I really can't blame them because I mean it does say Michael Coors there. Um I just know in the future if I consider buying Michael Coors again, I may have to message and say, you know, does it say Michael Michael Coors anywhere? Because I feel like it's not going to do that well. I still hope to make my money and maybe a little bit more. I don't know because it's Michael Michael Coors. I no I don't even know if Michael Coors does well. But Michael Michael Kors, I'm sure, doesn't do as well. But what's this? Do you know why it would say that on the outside and the inside saying Michael Michael Kors? It's very clean. It's It's got, you know, good pockets. Here's the other thing. I don't know if it's leather. It feels like it could be leather, but it's got no leather smell at all. So, and it being the lower end of Michael Kors, it may not be leather. Um, I'm pretty sure that I did try to Google this. I did like a lens. When I do um, auctions, um, I will take take my phone up to the picture and Google lens it. Um, so I, I did, I think, find this bag um, and the comps were okay, but you know, I also thought it was Michael Kors. So who knows, that might end up being not a good buy. Then the next item, 
I here's the thing. Okay, these are a pair of boots. And I pay, if I was buying these strictly to resell, I would not have spent so much. But I've been wanting a pair of black, like, motorcycle boots forever. Um, I want, you know, I thought I would like some Harley boots. But I don't know. I wear, like, an eight and a half to nine. And so I didn't really know what I needed. And I kept meaning to go into a Harley store and trying them on to see, you know, how they run. And I never did. So I ended up buying these. They were higher than I would have paid strictly to source. But... I felt like they were still at a price point where if they don't work for me, I could sell them and still make a few bucks. Maybe only 10, 15 bucks, but you know, even if I get my money back, that's fine. Well, first of all, I like them very much. Let's start there. Out of this bag. I'm surprised that they sold it in a bag. Sent it in a bag, but I've done that. Um, got a little bit of a scrape there. I'll clean that up. It's got two zippers, a zipper here and zipper there, which I don't think I noticed in the pictures. But overall, I like the style. I didn't want lace-ups. I wanted something like this. And they, I got to clean the bottoms. I will not be sending them out with schmutz on the bottom. But um, the problem is the nine part is okay. There's no width, but they're very wide on me. Um, like I can pull them off without even undoing any of the zippers. So they don't have a width. I will list them as a nine and I will I will say that I wear a nine and they fit me, but I find them to be wide. Um, so I'm disappointed because I do like them and they are in pretty good condition. So I'm hoping that I could, I mean, I have to research it, but I would think I could list them for around 60 and hopefully get maybe 50. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of experience with that. Uh, so that is it for this haul. I have already won a pair of shoes, which they're not shipping yet because I'm hoping to win something else um, and have it shipped together. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but that'll just, I'm sorry, my slippers, um, but that'll just have to come in a, uh, another video. Um, so I'm just going to do the last part, the ones that got away, um, quickly. Um, I get, you can learn a lot of new brands but this way if you have the patience and the time to just sit and look at auctions. Um, so the first brand is called Lambertson. It was a handbag um, and I did the Google Lens thing and all I could find on this one particular this particular bag was a listing on Poshmark for I want to say... 1400 I kid you not, 1400 But that doesn't really mean anything. Couldn't find solds or anything. Um, I did find another auction site that had sold it for 200 So I thought that was promising, but the bidding went too high and I didn't get it. But now Lambertson is in my head, and if I run into a Lambertson, I'm going to look, look into it. That's the point of this. Uh, there's a lot of boots, too. Uh, muck boots, M-U-C-K. I found several muck boots. They all went too high. And if you do look at muck boots on Poshmark or whatever selling sites, you will see that they, um, it looks like they, they ask a pretty penny for them. And they, they can I'll probably, when I edit this, um, add some, something to show, you know, what, what, uh, cause I don't remember. I, I wrote this down a while ago, but muck boots is one that's in here. Uh, another one, which I have heard of for a while, but I've never found, well, I have found them several times on the auctions, but they always go way too high is Corral. Now in the days when I knew cowboy boots, I did not know this brand. C-O-R-R-A-L. Um, the ones that I see a lot of have like a lot of like kind of embroidery. They're, they're fancy boots. They're not, uh, they're not just in work boot type thing. Um, and they, they go high. Another company, I thought this was interesting, is called Tin Hall Boots, T-I-N-H-A-U-L, Boots. Um, never heard of it, all really interesting styles. Again, I will try to show something. I think the pair I was looking at had a sort of rockabilly um, vibe that I respond to when I'm sourcing. And so I, they went too high, but uh, Tin Hall, one to remember. Um, okay. Oh, here's something that's not a pair of boots. I bid on, a, it looked like a denim jean jacket, but it was a, uh, it was leather. 
blue, you know, trucker jacket style. Um, I did not know the brand. It's called Mar Mauritius, M-A-U-R-I-T-I-U-S. Um, and I don't know it, but the comps looked very interesting, very interesting. So again, I'll try to remember that. And then the last two are our boots. I buy a lot of footwear on the auctions more than anything else. Um, new rock men's boots. Uh, I had, a, I, I think I struggled a little finding it because those kind of words get pull, pull up all kinds of things. Um, but yeah, uh, as I recall, I mean, I wrote it down, which means that the asking prices looked good and the comps looked good. I mean, the sold ones looked good as well. And then the final boot company is called Toga Pola. T-O-G-A, second word, P-U-L-L-A. No clue, never heard of it. Was very surprised at what the comps looked like. And I, I probably bid on it. Well, I didn't bid on all of them because sometimes by the time I find them, they're already too high. But like I had the opening bid on the Lambertson and then I bid a I bit up a little bit, but still didn't get it. Uh, so that's it. Those are just some new, um, new to me labels that I am, you know, going to try to keep tucked away so that if I'm outsourcing and I see one, it should ring a bell like, huh, Mauritius, that sounds familiar. Let me look it up. And that's why I'm sharing them with you because now they're in your head too. All right. Thank you um, for joining me. And I will see you on my next, most likely, it'll be a haul video. I'm sure it'll be that. All right. Bye.